What's going on guys, Pixelated here, back at it again with another review. Today we are looking at the Adidas X Alexander Wang Run Boost Shoes in the cream white gum colorway. Alexander Wang's first collaboration with Adidas came in the form of apparel and Adidas skate shoes way back in 2016. The release format was super unique and was probably created to go viral. Basically, there were these large trucks that were going to pull up one truck each in, I think, three random cities on a certain day. And the only way to purchase the apparel was to go to those trucks when the release happened. The clothing was primarily black with three stripes branding and the main point of focus was the upside down trefoil on all these pieces. Signature of Alexander Wang's theme for this collaboration of unbranding by turning the brand's logo on its head quite literally. Alexander Wang has since released a handful of collaborations with Adidas in a relatively short time span. I mean, it's only been the first quarter of 2017 and this is his, what, fourth drop of the collaboration? He has since released the Adidas Wang Run Shoes in black, which are basically the black version of this shoe, along with the Alexander Wang Run Clean, a deconstructed minimalist pure sock version of this shoe, which is already a deconstructed silhouette as it is. And the third drop featured my personal favorite, the the Wang B-Ball Shoes that released I believe on April 1st with a collection of clothing to go along with it in some delectably fruity colors. I was so close to getting them but they released on the day of the Haven Ultra Boost which I camped out for, essentially forfeiting any online drop opportunities of the shoe for me. As soon as I got home, I caught wind of livestock releasing them online so I went on their site on my phone. They were in stock, I added to my cart and then I passed out before I could check out. <laughs> Honestly, I was on the fence about spending that much in one day anyway. These sneakers are really running up a tab. The clothing that released with the ball shoes ranged from shorts to long sleeves to shirling jackets slash bombers. The tees, shorts, and long sleeves had that diagonal Adidas Alexander Wang text barcode branding running along the entire piece. I really like what Wang's been doing with Adidas. The branding and design is really eye-catching but simple at the same time. It works really well with the manufactured debranding theme he's playing off. And of course the latest drop would be these Alexander Wang Run Boost shoes in white, cream and gum along with the Alexander Wang Run in gray, red and black. The release date is April 15th which should be when this video releases. Unless something came up and I couldn't finish it then you'll know since you'll be watching it the day after. The story about how I got these, I initially wanted the Alexander Wang Run Cleans when they first came out. I was able to add them to cart on Adidas US, but me being in Canada, for some reason none of my Canadian cards work on the US site, so I wasn't able to check out. I know a few out there that do, but mine don't. Then I took a sleepy L on the Wang B-Ball shoes as I mentioned earlier, but a couple days ago this random store in Toronto got these Alexander Wang Run shoes early and so as soon as I heard the news I knew I had to act fast. I drove down to the store and bought a 9.5. I guess you could say I finally got my <clears throat> Wang fix. Pause. Anyways, I think they didn't have a 10 which is my true to size and I was gonna buy the 10s as my first option. So glad I didn't do that. These definitely fit half a size down. I'm a wide foot and I must say that as a wide foot you will definitely notice some foot spillage on the side of the shoe if you go half a size down, meaning your foot will spill over the midsole a little. When I first saw this it kind of put me off to wearing the shoe and I was considering returning or getting rid of them, but after wearing them for a bit it's honestly not that bad and the shoe just looks so good I couldn't let something like that deter me from wearing them. If you want to go half a size up to prevent that from happening as a wide foot, feel free to do so as these do fit very well at half down. It's like a lockdown fit you'd get from a ball shoe. I wouldn't recommend it though because that just means there will be tons of space in the toe box area and material collapsing to make the shoe look less appealing in general, but it's really up to you. It's a nice looking shoe either way. The spillage isn't even that significant 95% of the time and unless you're on eye level with the shoe like the camera I used to record these on foots is, it really won't be a problem for you. This is probably the best sneaker that is a collaboration between a high-end designer and Adidas with Boost technology. Sorry Yoji, I know you've been pushing out a million Y3s, some of them are really nice, but I gotta hand it to Alexander Wang. He's released two of my favorite unique Boost shoes to date, and both within the same month span. The Wang B-Balls and these. I'm kinda glad I took an L on the Alexander Wang Run Cleans now because I much prefer these with the whole lacing system construction on the upper. Let's get this one thing out of the way though, these look absolutely hilarious off foot. And that's just because they collapse into being just the boost midsole and a flat upper, as sock like as it can get. The upper of this sneaker is made primarily of a soft material with a sock like construction that is referred to as elastic mesh on Alexander Wang's website, however it is actually referred to as prime knit from other sources so I don't know what to tell you. A good comparison to these would be the knit you find on the human race NMDs, however I wouldn't consider these the same fit. 
The Hue Race NMDs fit very much like NMDs, in other words, a nice gentle hug to your foot with not much support. These however actually fit like a sock and the lace cage up top helps strengthen that lockdown feel while supporting your foot. The rest of the shoe consists basically of this one high quality leather mid panel that mainly consists of the eyelets for the laces to loop through. It's this off white color to match the cream color of the sock like opening and the leather quality of this panel could be comparable to that of the off white leather panels on the Air Jordan 1 OG shattered backboards. It's really that nice. The laces are all black rope style and feel like they're made of a neoprene blend, kind of like strings you'd find in board shorts or other apparel with the same drawstring tightening mechanism that this shoe has. The lace locking mechanism is located at the heel of the shoe and runs through the soft brown patch. I want to say it's Nubuck because it's a pretty short cut, but it could also be suede as it's not the shortest I've seen. It's actually noticeably hairy so it might just be suede. The left patch has three stripes stitched into it while the right patch has Wang's signature upside down trefoil stitched in. We obviously then have the cream sock like opening that's stitched onto the rest of the upper. The footbed has the same diagonal Adidas X Alexander Wang branding you see on the clothing in light blue. I forgot to film it but it's there and it's removable as well. And the most unique part of the shoe, this light blue piece underneath the lace cage is actually a tongue. It's independent, you can actually slide it out of place and whatnot. I'd recommend keeping it there though because once you put the shoe on, it's hard to adjust the tongue's placement. It's based off the tongues of legacy Adidas sneakers like the Stan Smiths or even the Busenits. If you look at their tongue, they have the same shape. We then have a full boost midsole that is connected to the upper but the area where they connect is overlaid with this cream pipe like lining. The full boost midsole isn't an ultra boost midsole or from any other boost shoe from my recollection although I would compare it to possibly the Iniki boost midsole. I do think however that this midsole is more comfortable. Another thing I noticed was that unlike an ultra boost or NMD this shoe actually has a moderate amount of arch support and it feels great when you're flat footed like me and need that shit. Last but not least, we have a timeless and invaluable design choice for a sneaker, it's the gum outsole. The shoe features this nice rugged gum outsole that has these treaded triangular Illuminati grooves with Adidas Wang co-branding embossed in the inner midfoot area of the outsole. So not only is this shoe comfy, has a supportive and breathable upper, it also has a grippy outsole for slippery terrain, making this possibly the most practical designer sneaker ever created. I'm not kidding, most designer sneakers choose form over function. Ask anyone who's worn Balenciagas or Hendry schemes, them shits are painful. Death to the foot if you ask me. Speaking of which, a lot of people ask me why I wear my sneakers or jump in them and beat them around when most shoe tubers just hold them in hand and have a short 30 second on foot. It's because they're sneakers bitch. The whole point is to wear them and that's why I make these videos to actually show them in action. That's the way other people will see your shoes 99% of the time anyway. I hope. Alright, mini rent aside, a few more things to cover. Here's the box that they came in. All white box, pretty plain with, with an all white trefoil logo debossed at the top. Minimal branding on the outside of the box because it's supposed to be an inverted version of a shoe box. So when you open it, that's where the glossy blue finish and Adidas branding is. You see Wang and Adidas co-branding as well, which is weird since technically the trefoil is right side up. When it's supposed to be upside down to keep consistent with Wang's Adidas theme, the sneaker came in this drawstring bag with more diagonal Adidas Wang branding in light blue. The texture of the bag is similar to that of a shopping or trash bag which I'm sure was done on purpose to coincide with the theme of the collab. In the first Wang drop with the trucks, the people who bought items were given them in a trash bag as well. And lastly, here's my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a Gap X John Elliott collab dual flash zip up in that cream colorway, a Supima cotton long sleeve from Uniqlo underneath in all white. I'm wearing the Gap X John Elliott collab pants in all white and the Kith X Colette Blue Stance Performance Socks. These sneakers are releasing or have already released, depending on when this video comes out, with a collection of Adidas Wang clothing as well, and along another Alexander Wang run in the gray colorway as I've mentioned earlier. They should be releasing on your respective Adidas websites as well as select boutiques. Price points are a little premium, 230 US dollars or 310 Canadian dollars for the sneakers and the clothing is typically along the same range. But if I know anything about Wang and Adidas, just from a design and quality standpoint, some of these items are well worth it. All in all, I really love the look and comfort of this sneaker. It's very easy to match as most all white shoes are since it has hits of blue, cream and black to accent the all white upper as well. The gum sole adds that final bit of legendary sneaker style and the boost midsole leaves you with a comfortable ride. 
To top it off, these sneakers actually look really good with shorts as well, so there's really no going wrong with them, and I didn't think I'd like them this much, but after having them on feet, they really might be on the upper end of boost sneakers I own. With that being said, that's the end of my review. If you took anything from it, please hit that like button. I know there was no hype beast lacing, but can you blame me? There's no laces to hype beast lace. I literally can't lace these any other way. You just can't. Either way, I love this sneaker. What did you guys think about it? I really want to know what your thoughts and opinions are, and as always, hit that subscribe button for more juicy content. Catch you later. Pixelated out.